All right, in today's video, we're here to show you how to mount the rain sensor. This uh, video applies to both the wired rain sensor that I have here and the wireless rain sensor. Um, a few things to keep in mind when it comes to mounting these. With the wireless rain sensor, it needs to be within 200 feet of the actual receiver, which is usually mounted within a foot or two of your uh, sprinkler timer. So um, that 200 feet will vary, give or take, uh, you know, 10 or 20 feet, depending on the sort of obstructions, trees, walls, or anything like that. Um, with the wired rain sensor that I have here, it comes with a 30 foot cord. Now that cord can be extended um, well up to 100 feet by using uh, a sort of splicing and some grease caps on the end here. That's been covered in another video. But let me show you the two, mount, the two mounting options that you have for this. Um, the first one is the flat surface mount, and that uses this little plate. Uh, both sensors will come with that. This plate is attached to a flat surface like a wall. Um, it can be brick, mortar, uh, stucco, aluminum siding. These all work fine. You would want to use the um, mounting, these mounting uh, brackets and then, of course, attach the mounting plate like that with the screw going through the middle. There's two of those. And then you simply slip the sensor right on there. And then it comes with a small threaded uh, Phillips screw. And you use that from the back to, from the back of the front to secure and um, ensure that the sensor itself never slips out. I mean, it's in there pretty tight. It shouldn't really move, but it's always good to lock those things down. Um, these rain and freeze sensors are totally weather weatherproof. They can be left outside the entire year. Now, the other way to mount it is onto a rain gutter, and the way you do that is by using this included screw, and you will attach that here on the back, like so and then you hook it over the lip of the rain gutter. You just screw that down. So you'll tighten that down finally and make sure it's secure. And there you go, that rain sensor isn't going anywhere. And then you would just wire it up or, you know, if you've got the wireless one, you would use that in the same way. It hooks on the exact same way. So that's how you get those attached to your home for, um, you know, for optimal placement. You want this in a place that has good sunlight so it's not in the shade and will have direct access to water so you don't want any sort of overhang from the ledge of a home or from a tree or any sort of vegetation like that because that will cause either not enough or too much water to get in there and could cause uh, some sort of delays that are not intended. You want it to you know, receive the correct amount of water that's actually falling. So there you go. If you have any questions, let us know about this and we're happy to answer them. Thanks.